What's going on everyone? And welcome back to Treebeard's Toy Box. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Amazon exclusive G.I. Joe Classified series number 28 Heavy Infantry Roadblock Action Figure from Hasbro. I was pretty stoked because this guy originally wasn't supposed to show up until I think the first week of September. And I got an email the other day saying I was gonna get him Thursday. So, yo Joe. So before we go any further, I just wanted to make sure that everyone out there is subscribed to Old Treebeard's channel here. And please make sure you're hitting that like button and uh, leave me a comment, you know, let me know if you guys are still collecting the classified series or has it gotten too frustrating? You know, it's been hard on a lot of collectors, so I totally understand. Um, and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uh, posting new videos. And uh, yeah, let's get uh, Roadblock over to the review station and get a closer look. And here we get a closer look at our heavy artillery Roadblock in the packaging. And it's a pretty standard classified series packaging here. We get the figure in the window there and our nice artwork there. Up at the top, we get the number 28. And on the side, we get another nice image there. And then we get the same image that we've gotten for most of the uh, classified series. And then we get the number 28 again on the bottom there, and then his stats here. You can look those up on uh, on the website there. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and crack them open and check them out. And here we have our heavy artillery roadblock out of the packaging. And I don't know if it's just me or if you guys can see it too, but this guy, in my opinion, looks like he walked right off the set of Aliens. Um, and I think that's awesome. That's a total compliment. Um, digging this guy's look. This is probably my favorite roadblock. Um, I don't know why we've gotten three different looks for him when there's so many other characters they could do, but then again, I have all three, so they're still getting my money. <laughs> um, but I think this guy looks pretty awesome. Um, they did a great job with the uh, detail here. And we've got a uh, some new happening and some reuse happening. And I will point those out and uh, later on I'm gonna uh, compare them to some other classified figures too. So I'll show the other roadblocks and, and the difference is uh, a little closer. Um, so I do believe that the torso, this whole piece is new. And we get some nice uh, sculpted detail for the tank top there. And it's also printed with camo. See the back there, and that looks really nice. And this, this strap here, this whole apparatus is new. And it is, uh, looks like mostly black, but we do get some green here for the, I don't know if there's some grenades maybe? That's what they look like to me, but I'm not an expert, I could be wrong. And uh, so yeah, this whole thing is new. Um, the arms and hands are reused from the other roadblock figures and the legs are as well and they're just a different color and the same for the boots and we've got a couple different greens happening here um, it looks like it's like a really I it almost part of it looks black and part of it looks like super dark green but uh, maybe it's just all black like the back here looks black and this looks like a really dark green. And then this is a different shade of green here for the uh, little uh, shield there. And this knee is slightly different. We have the spot sculpted here where the, like the knee pad on the other ones would go. And it's kind of flat here because on the other two roadblock figures, there's a sculpted knee pad that is glued on there. Um, and they decided to go without the knee pad for this figure, which is fine with me, but that's why that looks a little different. Um, and then this, uh, as far as I could tell, I did look at all my other figures, and f unless I missed something, I do believe that this uh, holster here is new. So we are getting a lot of new, and it's a new head sculpt as well, if you couldn't tell already. And it comes with this awesome helmet here. It comes right off. 
get a closer look at his head there. And I do believe they're using photo reel for everything. Hasbro that is. And um, I think his facial hair looks really cool. Did a fantastic job here. This, yeah, it's got kind of that classic look. You know, a lot are probably saying we should have gotten this guy first. I try not to complain too much. I'm happy with the other guys. Uh, the first one isn't my favorite. Uh, I definitely like the other one better. Um, and this guy is definitely going to be my favorite out of the three. So. Um, but yeah, and then this uh, helmet's really nice. One of his accessories. And he does come with this on in the packaging. And it looks to be uh, black plastic with uh, some green paint on the uh, top, I believe is how they did that. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, we'll leave that off for now. We're going to move on to his uh, accessories here. So we'll set him back here a little bit. He can chill. And uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and start with this. I mean, we're not going to count his any of this. Like, I think if you tried really hard, you could probably get that off. But it'll take some work. It doesn't just unfasten or anything. I wish they would do that with their uh, vests and their belts and things. It'd be nice to have the option to remove them. Um, but that's all right. Yeah. <clears throat> Knocking things over here. So yeah, first off, we've got this nicely done helmet here. We've got this little uh, symbol up here at the front. And we get a nice chin strap here. It doesn't fasten, but it looks really cool. Yeah. Pretty nice. We'll set that aside. And he doesn't come with a whole lot. Um, and they are doing that thing again where they are, um, there's not really any paint detail on the weapons. Um, first off, we get this pistol here, and it's just done in like a green plastic. I do like the, uh, the uh, shade of green a little better than the weapons that came with Beachhead though. Um, I don't mind those ones, but as far as the uh, greens go, I do prefer this one. It's more of an army green, a little bit darker. Got more of a matte. So that's cool. And then we get this awesome. Um, that's really cool. I just noticed we get this big guy, this big one, and this actually turns. And that's awesome. I think they probably talked about that when they did the live stream, but I forgot. It's been so long. So yeah, that looks sweet. But yeah, uh, not a lot of detail, but it still looks cool and no paint, just green plastic. But I do like that green a lot. And then also, we get this thing and it is going to attach right here and snap right on there and look at this monster this thing is bonkers it really i mean every roadblock has come with a pretty bonkers weapon um, yeah i like this a lot we'll uh set this aside oh you know what i apologize i just noticed some paint wow and that's the <laughs> We don't get paint on this handle, but we get some black paint on this handle. Man, Hasbro keeping me on my toes for the reviews. Interesting. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for accessories for our roadblock here. And I guess it's time for articulation. So for articulation, let's go ahead and start up here at the top, the head. And that awesome head sculpt there. Yeah. And uh, we get the uh, swivel up here, the ball peg. And we also get the uh, hinge moving pretty nice. And we get another joint at the bottom of the neck. So we get to move that around a little bit. 
Not a whole lot, but it's there and it's, it's getting a little bit. Um, and then we move over here to the arms and we get our butterfly joint here. And then we get our hinge there. It's a pretty decent range. We get our bicep swivel there. And we're going to get our double jointed elbows there. Not pinless because this is uh, we're getting some reuse here on the arms and legs, but before before too long, everything will be pinless hopefully. And then here for the uh, wrists, we get the uh, hinge and swivel, and that's in and out. Same with this one. And then we get this crunch here, which is pretty decent. And yeah, look at that. If you needed to do it, it's doing it. Digging that. And then we get our uh, waist swivel there. Nice and nice movement there. And then, you know, I'm still not a fan of the uh, drop down hips. And they're giving them to us again. And they just feel like uh, wonky and wobbly. You know, I don't know. Kind of loosey goosey. Look at that. I'm not too happy with that. Um, you know, for getting certain poses, they're fine, but just vanilla, just hanging out. You know, I want to be your pocket fig for the day. It's kind of frustrating sometimes. But my one complaint with the GI Joe Classified, I'm allowed to have one. I'm allowed to have a couple if I want. Uh, but anyways. Still gonna get uh, some pretty decent movement, not so much with the back because of the butt, and that's pretty standard. And of course, we're gonna get the splits. Um, if anything, we got too much motion in the hips. And we get our thigh rotation there, and our double jointed knees. And because of the design of his uh, thick legs there, he's not gonna be able to kick his own butt. And then we get the uh, boot slash calf rotation there. And for the ankles, we're gonna get that standard rocker, hinge, and swivel. So uh, yeah, pretty standard classified articulation there. And now it's not so classified anymore. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, there you have it. Let's go ahead and set them up for some size comparisons. So for size comparison, let's go ahead and start them off next to the other roadblocks we have here. And here is our brand new heavy artillery roadblock next to the original roadblock that came out. And then here is our target exclusive Cobra Island roadblock. And if you look down here at the knee pads, this is what I was talking about earlier. We have a knee pad here, and we have a knee pad here. Same ones, just different color. And here, we have this slightly flat piece of knee here. And uh, it's got a little less wrinkles than this one. And I think it was supposed to, not supposed to, they intended to leave it off this time. But it's a little flatter because originally, they had had these little knee pads glued to it. So that's the difference I was talking about earlier there. Um, but yeah, and there we have our three roadblocks. And here he is next to our Alpha Commando Snake Eyes. And here he is next to Zartan. And here he is next to Lady J. And here he is next to the brand new G.I. Joe Origins Snake Eyes Movie Baroness figure. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this action figure. Other than the uh, wonky drop down hips that they uh, insist on saying are fabulous. Um, yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, he's a badass roadblock. Uh, I love his uh, weapon here. And uh, his pistol does fit really nicely in his holster there. Uh, he's got a sweet helmet, and the head sculpt is awesome. I think that, uh, you know, it's sweet to finally get this uh, classic look for him. I dig the camo on his tank top. 
And yeah, I really, I like everything about them except those drop down hips. And unfortunately on mine, they're extra loose. So, you know, that might not be the case for everyone's, but uh, for mine, it's uh, definitely not making me like those uh, hips any better. I'll tell you that. But um, uh, there's some cool features on the uh, gun there. That's cool that it's articulated. And um, it's cool that this little piece can come off. And, you know, we do get that uh, little bit of paint there on that one handle. Um, but no, he, he's pretty awesome. I'm very happy to have him. Uh, I hope you guys were all ordered to score him. He um, is currently at a very high price on Amazon. He is an Amazon exclusive. Um, I was lucky to get a pre-order in when he went up. I, uh, I will say I wish I would have ordered two. Um, that way I would, uh, you know, have one to rock and one to stock. Um, but, you know, I'm stoked to have one. Happy with that. Can't necessarily afford to have two of every favorite figure of mine. So, got to sp spread out that cash and make it last. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Uh, if I were to give him a number rating, which I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and, um, and those hips really bug me. It does suck that he is an exclusive. It's, it was a little better that it was an Amazon exclusive and maybe he'll show back up in stock, but right now it's close to a hundred dollars. So it's a little ridiculous when originally it was 1999 and that's what I paid for him. Um, I think it was either $19.99 or $22.99. It's, it's one or the other, but don't pay that high price. Hopefully you got one, and hopefully he'll go uh, back up for uh, order on Amazon. Um, but yeah, stoked to have him. Let's go ahead. I want to give him higher, but I'm going to do a 7 out of 10. Um, the exclusive factor and the hips are bugging me. Other than that, like the sweet head sculpt, the weapon's really cool, um, and I dig the colors and everything. Uh, but anyways enough of me talking uh thank you guys so much for watching and uh yeah just a reminder please make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you're hitting that like button leave a comment if you want to hit that notification bell and until next time take good care